what we got in the post. So this is going to be our Christmas puzzle for Christmas 2024. These are the ones that we're going to be working on. And they're falcon puzzles, which I prefer more than anything else. Yeah. <laughs> and I think we have another puzzle. Yes, so. That's there. I think it's a very pretty one. It's a vintage one. It looks like it's vintage 80s. Judging by this. Yeah. That's going to be fun. Summer evening at the pub. Summer evening at the pub. Oh, these ones are 500 pieces. So yeah. they shouldn't take too long. But again, these are also vintage. These are going to be fun to do for summer. Yeah, this too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, this is a honeysuckle. Love it. Fabulous. So these are the two latest additions to our jigsaw puzzles. And this one is huh, very nearly done. It's taking very long to do this section here because there are a lot of false friends. And yeah. Too many to count. Too many finished. To count. It is finished. It is done. It's done. This is my outfit for today. It's already dark, getting really dark, even though it's only about three o'clock. But needless to say, today I have to do um, some ironing. It is my ironing day today. So I'm setting up my iron over here to do the ironing. And in fact, my ironing board, I need a new ironing board cover because it's sort of coming off a bit. Whilst I'm doing ironing, I love to listen to an audiobook. I think it's one of the best times to listen to an audiobook. And I love, I love ironing. Actually, I really enjoy ironing. I find it very satisfying uh, pressing something that's crumpled and making it look bright, shiny and brand new by um, ironing it. And so consequently, I do a lot of ironing. And consequently, I read a lot of audiobooks because <laughs> I am ironing. <laughs> So I'm still continuing with Fast Like a Girl. I'm nearly finished with Chapter 2 now. It's really good. So I have a new iron, which I bought last year because I ruined my other iron with lime scale on it. And one thing I've learned is that the best thing to do for your iron is to use filtered water rather than tap water in the steam iron, because of course it's going to have to be a steam iron. So I always, whenever it's time for me to iron, I go get some filtered water from downstairs because I've got a filter jug. And that's what I'm going to be using um, for this. And so yeah, I'm just going to get on and have a lovely time off it, of doing the ironing. Shirts are one of my favorite garments to iron and to press. And over the years, I've learned a few things that I found help me with the ironing process. So the first thing is to make sure that I assign one shirt to one hanger. I used to try and save space by stacking loads of shirts on the same hanger, but that was counterproductive as they would crease a lot more. So now I put one shirt to a hanger and when I put it on the hanger, I make sure to button up the top button and that makes sure that it doesn't form any creases on it. I also prefer using flocked hangers. They just help the shirt to sit more stably on there. And that's been really helpful. When I hang them up that way, they can stay for months, crease free and perfect when worn. Another pointer is to have a really wide ironing board. It just increases the ironing pleasure so much.
Okay, I'm done ironing now. But now that I've finished, there's still water in the tank. And I never leave water in the tank anymore because that actually contributes to a lot of lime scale buildup. So after every time that I've finished, I will pour the water out. And this, it catches all of the, it catches some of the lime scale. So I need to sort of get that out and just give it a bit of a rinse. And then I dry it off. Dinner tonight is very simple, it's jacket potatoes, there's some uh, bacon, some tuna, cheese and baked beans oh, with some water. Simples and straightforward. Normally we'd also have coleslaw but I don't have any mayo. <laughs> so there we go. Time to ring the bell now. Yeah.